up. Okay, so I just gave one million Vietnamese dong to Mao, which is the, the lady who was um, talking with us about the tour. We'll see her again on Sunday, which is in two days, to start trekking. I really hope that this wasn't a scam and that we do see her again, because I've never just met someone on the street, organized a tour, and then paid them uh, in cash. <laughs> And now we are finally starting our hike off to the first campsite at 2800 meters. We'll camp there and then summit the next morning. At our first rest stop, out in the open, taking a quick water break. Ah, Buffalo Station. We're at Buffalo Station apparently. There's a lot of Buffalo Purim. The uphill parts are quite tiring. It's not difficult, but a lot of uh, elevation. We've been hiking for about an hour. It's almost 12 and we've made it to the first stop. This is at 2200 meters. We're gonna have lunch here. 200 meters down, 900 to go. Got the bun leaf for lunch. The egg, cucumber, tomato, beautiful. Just finished lunch, had two delicious getting bun me, and now we are back on the track walking. The fiery crash. So I'm not sure if you can see, but right behind me is actually the cable car running. And so whilst we're puffed out walking, it's really nice and easy. Cable car right to Fancy Pan. But hey, we're not here to take the easy path, are we? We're gonna take the long and fun adventure to um, trekking to Fancy Pan. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, it's just chilling there. This is what we hike for. We've decided that now at 1, almost 2 p.m. we're gonna take it a bit more relaxed and chill because um, we've sort of just been rushing it which isn't the best idea especially because the scenery now is just so beautiful. So we're gonna take it slightly slower as we um, just go up. This is Mel. Yes. Chua. Hello. And. Hello. 
This guy's like 50 and he's just killing it. And he's hiking in these sli slippers. Bro, we're struggling here with our hiking boots. The local Hmong people. Man. <laughs> There's a lot of uphill in the second half. So we are taking quite a few breaks. Am I really red? Very red. We've just arrived at our sleeping location at 2800 meters. This is our cabin tonight and pretty good view. Nature hike. It goes down to zero degrees, which isn't too bad. Um, and hopefully, it will be a pretty comfy night. What, what are we eating for dinner tonight? We rice and chicken and green beans mm. and some rice trouble. I'm so excited to eat dinner after that long trek. Fresh food, the chicken in the back with the fire in the back as well. Oh, and so excited. Look, look, I saw a turkey right now. <laughs> this is what we're gonna eat, right? <laughs> yeah. Can you eat like this? Okay, so a brief rundown of what we're doing. This is the lodge on the mountain at 2,800 meters. The fence pan peak is at about 3,143 meters, I think. And so that takes around two hours to summit or to get to the summit from here. We won't get the sunrise. So we'll be waking up at 3 a.m. tomorrow, nice and early. It's unfortunate that the cable car um, has ruined some of the peacefulness at the top. Um, but nonetheless, if you get there in the morning, the views are beautiful and well, the cable car isn't open yet. So yeah, I'm so keen to share this experience with you guys, show um, what food we get to eat whilst camping with the local black Hmong people um, and what the Fancy Pan Peak will be like. I think that is Fancy Pan and so see you guys up there tomorrow. Actually before then, let's eat some food! Yes. Stir fried chicken, green beans, morning pie. Yeah. Starting after all that walking, and this looks like an absolute beast. Can't wait to eat. So it's 7 p.m. right now and I'm gonna go back to the lodge to go to sleep. It, it's 7 p.m. but it feels like 10 or 11. It's freezing cold, I'm gonna go. It's 3am right now, we've just woken up and it's time to summit fancy pen tonight, I mean today, this morning. Waiting for breakfast to be made, it's not as cold as I thought out, out here right now, in fact I think it's warmer than last night, you can see. Mm. It's 5 a.m. right now. I'm taking a short break. I've changed shirts actually because it was way too hot before. It is good. Oh no. Oh damn. 
New West. 5.15 a.m. We just made it to the cable car station. It is nice and empty. So good. Probably the first ones here. Next stop, Summit. 15 minutes to Summit. Summit, oh crap, or oh, fancy pan. We did it. From 1900 to 3143 meters. I'm not sure if you can see me, but it's freezing cold up here. I've resorted to using the socks I wore yesterday as gloves because I did not pack gloves. Bye bye, now I can't. Yeah, everyone's hanging down now. It's nice drinking with you. It is freaking cold. Can't stay up for much longer. Can't wait out the air. Uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bruh. Taking the cat cat route and bruh. With, what is this? It's 7 20 a.m. and we've just started our uh, descent through the cat cat route. Um, it's gonna be a lot more steep, a lot more dangerous, but hopefully a lot more adventurous as well. Oh, wow. My guy, it's smoking a cigar on our break. <laughs> kind of funny. I don't know how he's still faster than me. He's like 50, smoking a cigar, wearing slippers. Bro, what am I doing? I think I am strong. Bro. Not sure if I can see, but my melt North Face Jack is melting on me. His hand is completely black. And this kids <laughs> is why you don't buy fake North Face. It's so windy and foggy and it feels more like a beach than a mountain. It's 10 a.m. and we've stopped to get some lunch. It's pretty early, but we ate also at like 3.30. We're at a really nice clearing. Um, that's pretty rare because we've just been trekking through like rainforest bush. That's like completely, I'm completely soaked. Everything's wet. <laughs> Banh mi and the meat. Best lunch ever. Some condensed milk with the bread. Mm. Mm. This guy is <laughs> Bro, these days are absolutely whack. They're like vertical. The weather's finally clear. If only we had this for sunrise, but I was. It is what it is. Apparently we're five minutes away from our destination. So we're almost there. And our guide has just um, told us to take a break. So.
It's been how many hours? Seven hours of hiking, up and down. Uh, honestly, that one kills me more, but I'm really tired and I just wanna go home now. I think I'm still an hour or two away though. I have no clue. The guy doesn't speak English, so I can only hope for the best. I'm dehydrated because I ran out of water um, maybe an hour ago. So I haven't been drinking. Um, but hopefully we can get there and I can rest, relax, take a shower, drink some water. Yeah. I think walking behind me are actually people from the Cat Cat Village. They're holding bags, walking toward home. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. On to the final leg um, toward Cat Cat and to wrap up our descent from Fancy Pan Summit. And I think we're heading back into civilization. Just pour myself a bottle of water and I think that'll be the end of it. See you guys.